going to log into that too. But what is MCIS anyways? MCIS stands for Minnesota Career Information System, and it uh, gives us access to all sorts of information on colleges and careers. Wow, it sounds like there are a lot of things you can do on MCIS. There is. Like what? Well, once you go to the AHS website and locate the MCIS Lighthouse under the resources sim symbol, login is easy. Um, you you first use your student number and then your the first letter of your first name capitalized, the first letter of your last name lowercase, and then your six digit birthday. Make sense? Yeah, that totally makes sense. I was going to log into it too. Okay, first across the top shows several tabs plans, assessments, occupations, education, and employment. And then under my portfolio, there's additional tabs to help you what you need. Um, for example, under the plan tab, there are checklists which have the key components that need to be done in grades 9 through 12 that for um, the state of Minnesota and for PCR. What do you mean by PCR and the state of Minnesota? Well, the state of Minnesota has come up with core requirements for students that have to be done for their college and career readiness. Really? I had no idea. It's true, and our school makes sure that they're all compiled under the checklist tab under the plan tab. Wow, that makes it really convenient for someone like us. Yes, it does. You should go check that out. I think I will. Another important component under the plan tab is the career plan. Really? Why? What can this do for me? Well, the career plan helps you plan out your future, and all of the information from the My Career Plan flows into your PLP. Your PL what? Your personal learning plan. This is what's required by the state of Minnesota. Uh, check out the career plan. Hey, did you know that MCIS has all kinds of assessments to help you figure out your plan for your future? Really? Yeah, and it's all under the assessments tab. From what are your interests, your skills, and your learning style. It's all right there under the assessments tab. I see there's a report for combined assessments. What's that for? Well, the great thing about this is that you can take more than one assessment and it can compare and compare your results and show which areas you seem to be your greatest interest. It can also help you if you're not sure what career path you want. Well, that's great because I thought, I, for a second, I thought I wanted to go into science, but now I realize that that's something that I really don't want to do. Well, many of these assessments can help you. You should go check them out. I think I will. You know, you mentioned not knowing what field you wanted to go in since you didn't like science as much as you thought you would. Well, the Occupations tab can help you for that, too. Really? How? Well, you can search up all kinds of jobs and occupations um, and finding out about the careers at a glance, the wages, employment outlook, and more. And um, by clicking on U.S. Jobs, you can see actual live job openings in each career. You should go check it out. Hmm. I think I will. I noticed while I was doing that there's a, a Compare Occupations tab. What's that for? Oh, yeah. It's a great tool to help you compare two possible careers side by side. You should check that out, too. Yes, I think I will. So the Education tab has information on programs of study, short-term training, apprenticeships, colleges, and universities. It also has information on financial aid. And through the application tracker, you can track your college applications. There's also the school sort, which helps you identify colleges that have the major you want to study, as well as through Compare Schools, you can see college information to compare and help you make the best decision for you. Wow, that's great. Under the Employment tab, there's so much to help you from job applications to interview techniques and more. Thank you so much. You seem to know so much about MCIS. Yes, it but it, um, it just takes a little time. You see, there's so much to help you on the site. Like in the last tab, the My Portfolio, there's a test prep section that has online courses and practice tests for the ACT, the SAT, and the ASVAB, and more. Well, I've heard about people having to pay for something like that. It's true, but it's all part of the Austin High School subscription to MCIS. Plus, you can keep using it once you're out of high school. Wow, that's so much to help us for our futures. I guess I know where to go if I have questions. Yeah, but the real experts are right here in our building, from our Connect teachers who want to help us guide us through PCR, and our counselors, and the College and Career Center.